<laughs> this is so crazy. Just gonna wait a few moments for people to come in. Hello, <laughs> me. Hello. So I'm just gonna wait for a few people to join. Um, hello, and just get people in. But until that, hello everyone, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. While we wait for people to just come in, if you wanna grab a pillow maybe, um, a mat if you haven't got one already, carpet or anything like that will do. Just getting prepared for our practice together. Oh, I'm so excited to do this with you guys. I just want to take a moment to be like, thank you for technology, that I can connect with you guys through this phone. So amazing. Perfect. So, if you guys just want to get a comfortable seat while we wait, I'm going to choose to sit on my pillow cross-legged. But anyway, you can lay on your mat, you can kneel, you can maybe lean against the wall to support your back. Whatever feels good, as long as you're comfortable, there's no right or wrong how we're going to begin today. So I'll just give you a few moments to set up. Our practice today, um, I was trying to think what would be best to do on a Sunday morning. And I've chosen to do some with a bit of a yin tendency, a bit of a restorative, slow, half of practice. Um, I'm feeling at the moment like we have only a small period of time where we can move our bodies. Um, so we go from not moving all day to going straight into really fast movements. Um, and what I kind of want to do for my body, um, and I think it could be really beneficial for you guys too, is just moving our bodies in a slow way that isn't just going straight into really fast movements. I'm just getting used to being like in our homes but moving gently um, and kind of a counter position for our modern day society because I'm sure just like me you all are hunching over your computers more than ever hunching over your phones maybe reading books cooking more and they all require to be hunching over so we're going to just kind of be opening up that body just opening up and allowing space to flow through so on that note, let's begin. So if you found your comfortable position, back is straight if you've got the opportunity to do so. And we're just gonna close down our eyes. If you feel comfortable, if not, just, just having a little gap in your eyes. And just start to focus on your breath without changing anything. Just really focusing on the in and the out as the breath makes it in and the breath makes it out. If that's making you feel a little bit on edge, maybe start to count your breath. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. We're just arriving on our mats in this present moment acknowledging to ourselves that we have nowhere else to be nothing else to do and if this practice you want to keep your eyes closed for the most of it that's absolutely fine let my voice guide you but let your breath help you through the journey your intuition Deepening those breaths now. Belly rising, belly falling. If 
any moment you feel your mind wandering off, just come back to the counts. We're here together, connected through this practice. Feel that. Start to notice where your body is planted into the earth. Maybe your seat bones, your feet are touching the ground. Notice. No judgment here, just observing. Every part of your body that is connected to the ground. And again, back to that non judgment. Without making any thoughts too deeply about this? How does it make you feel connecting the parts of your body to the ground, knowing that you're supported? Maybe you feel safe, comfort. Maybe it makes you feel a little bit weird. Whatever it is, without judgment, we're just observing. knowing that the ground beneath us is supporting us. Now just start to deepen that breath, maybe switching on that Ujjayi breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. Allowing to go in. Allowing it to flow out. Really gently, blinking the eyes open just a little bit to move into our first child's pose. So bringing our hands forward, sitting back onto our heels. Chest planted into the mat. See all the way back into your heels. You want to feel like your heart is opening, expanding into the ground. Stretching out your arms as far forward as possible. Resting that forehead on the ground. Every exhale with that Ujjayi breath, you're just melting that chest open, maybe reaching your hands forward, bringing those hips back, feeling your rib cage expand. Keep that breath consistent. Tune in to the parts of your body where this stretch feels really nice. And maybe parts that you're noticing have been really tight and they need some work. And if that's the case, without any judgment, just start breathing into those moments, those parts of your body that have some tension. Breathing in, breathing out, being child's pose. From here, we're just going to walk our fingertips forward as far as they can go, lifting our hips up off the mat. Our hips will be in line with our knees and we're going to come into a puppy's toes. So we're going to be really bringing our chest to the mat, forehead to the mat, and then if you can, chin onto the ground. Massive heart opener here. Making sure that your hip is in line with your knees.
might make you feel a little uncomfortable, just keep breathing through this moment. Keeping your forehead on the mat if it's making your neck feel any strain. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. One more breath, inhale, exhale, sitting back into your child's pose. Really nice. Keeping everything slow, keeping everything nice and easy. Not trying to force into anything here. From your child's pose, you're going to come up to an all fours position. Hips stacked over knees, shoulders stacked over wrists. From here, we're just going to warm up our wrists a little bit backwards and forwards. Maybe you want to close down your eyes, just keeping that breath. Coming back to neutral. We're going to do a few rounds of cat and cow here. So we're going to inhale, arching our back, looking up, pressing into the mat, exhale, belly in, looking to your navel. Nice. Inhale, coming back up again, opening up that chest, opening up your heart and your throat. Exhale, arching that back, looking towards your navel, pushing into the mat. Inhale, coming up. It's okay if your breath is a little bit different to mine. Do it at your own pace. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A few more times. Now you have the option to keep going at your cat and cow. Or maybe start to just incorporate a few free movements moving with your breath but you're just trying to use your body in whatever way it needs to be used warming up your back your neck your hips or just keep your cat and cow as it is your breath is at its center with those movements inhale exhale one more count and count together. Inhale. Exhale. Really nice. Coming back to that neutral spine. From here, we're going to stay in our neutral spine tabletop and wrap our right leg over our left. So our leg will be on either side of us. Now we have the option to sit back here into cow face pose. Maybe you want to bring your cushion underneath your seat if that's a bit tight on your hips. And if this is not accessible at all, just sit normally cross-legged. Once you've found your variation, sit up tall. Maybe just closing down the eyes. Breathe into your hips, feel the prana move through your body. left arm comes up and behind your head, reaching behind down your spine, keeping your chin up, maybe using your right arm to just stretch that tricep down a little bit more, bring that right arm around, connecting it, see if you can grab on with your fingers behind, if you can't just go as far as you can, abs tucked in, not pushing anything, just close down your eyes here. Keep that Ujjayi breath strong. Back is straight. If you find thoughts coming up, just let them go and come back to your breath.
two more breaths together, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly release, slowly walking your hands forward, back into that tabletop, really gentle with yourself, even keeping your eyes closed, I'm going to swap the legs over. Left comes forward, crosses over the right, and then we're sitting back down. Again, grabbing a cushion if you need, or just coming straight into cross-legged. You want your knees stacked on top of each other if you can. I'm going to close down the eyes here, keeping that breath strong. Opening up those hips. Got nowhere else to be. Inhaling, stretching that right arm up behind your head, reaching down your back, maybe using your left arm just to really stretch that tricep and pushing it down. Ribs in, abs in, chin up. Really nice, guys. Keep that breath strong, letting it guide you. On your next inhale, bring your left to meet your right. If any thoughts come, let them go with the next exhale. Two more breaths together, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly releasing, really nice. Just really gently with yourself, come back into all fours, no rush. Once you've made it back into all fours, we're going to tuck our toes and push back into a really soft down dog. So feet are hip distance apart, we're keeping our knees bent, chest to your thighs, planting those hands into the mat. Really gently with ourselves, maybe walking out the feet, pedaling one ankle down, trying the other. Feet hip distance apart here, hips to the sky. Again, we're not trying to get to the final posture. We're just moving with our breath, moving our body. Close down your eyes if you wish. Keep that breath strong until you can find stillness. And really gently, we're just going to walk our feet forward to our hands and just swing when we've made it to the top of our mats just swinging here maybe holding on to your elbows the more you bend your knees the more you can stretch open this lower back keep the breath deep Again, just finding the movements that work for you. You're in your home with no one watching you, so it doesn't matter what you look like. If you feel like you need bigger swings, do so. If not, just maybe a little few little pumps, just to open up that back, your hips. Noticing where there's tightness, or what feels juicy. And then we're going to slowly roll up, bending those knees bit by bit until we come to standing. Walking to the top of our mat. 
feet together on Tadasana. Lifting up those toes and planting all ten toes one by one into the earth. Bringing your hands to your heart centre. Maybe closing down your eyes here. Again, you're feeling the earth beneath you, supported. Completely supported by the earth. Maybe take this moment to set an intention for your practice today. What drew you to this mat? Maybe it is, I am safe, I am strong. Whatever it is, it's personal to you. Thinking, open the eyes, we're going to do a few round, rounds of sun salutation. But again, go with your own breath. If I'm going too fast or too slow, this is your practice, you're at home, you can do whatever you like. So we're going to start with inhaling, lifting our arms up, look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, we're just keeping everything really soft. Exhale, stepping back into plank, really slow. Knees down, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Elbows are tucked in, chest is open, just looking slightly forward. Using those lower back muscles. Exhale down, pushing back into your child's pose, coming into your soft down dog. Two breaths here together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, looking up, step between your hands, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, making all the way up, Tadasana, exhale, forward fold, going with your breath, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping back into that plank, Coming into our chaturanga, just a soft one. Elbows in. Baby cobra. Back into your heels, downward facing dog. Two breaths here all together. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, one more like this. Exhale through the mouth. Walking forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Nice, all together one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into plank. Chaturanga, knees down, elbows in. Baby cobra. Back into downward facing dog, really nice. Slowing down that breath. Just gonna do one more slightly faster, but again, you can stick to your own pace. Inhale, coming up, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up all the way to the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into plank. You can choose to do full chaturanga here. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. Downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping that you dry your breath strong. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Abs tucked in, exhale, hips to the sky, inhale, exhale, knees to the ground, let's meet in tabletop. Let's do a few rounds of cat and cow, opening up that chest, inhale, 
Exhale, arching that back, push into the mat. Inhale. Just go with your own breath here. One more time together. Exhale. Pushing back into a seated position onto our knees. We're just going to stretch up our arms, palms together if you can, if not just keep them hip, shoulder distance apart. And look up, tucking in those ribs, the abs. It's really simple but some of us might be really hard. Spend all day with our arms down. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath together, inhale, exhale, bring those arms down, nice, we're really gently going to our backs now, laying down, planting that back into the mat and bringing your heels, your ankles as close to your bum as possible, feet hip distance apart, pressing that whole back into the mat, you can touch your fingertips with your ankles, Inhale, we're going to slowly peeling off our hips, our lower back, middle back, upper back, coming into a bridge. Your shoulders are supporting you here, tucking in the bum. Breath is strong. Options to interlace your fingers behind your back here, underneath. You want to lift your shoulder blades up to get there. Let's hold for five. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Inhale, five. Exhale, nice, slowly peeling your way back into the mat, bit by bit. Really nice. Bringing your legs up to a 40, 90 degree angle, can't do math. Arms out of a T shape, inhale. Exhale, bring your knees down to your left side. Looking to your right side if you can for spinal twists. For a self-adjustment today, maybe using your left arm, pushing your knees down and really reaching from the right side so you can feel the full stretch along your back. Inhale. Exhale, release a little bit more. I'm just breathing here for a moment. Inhale, using your core, come up to the center. Exhale, down to the other side. Looking the other way. Self-adjusting if you've got the space. Deep breaths. Center. Exhale, laying your legs down to the mat. Staying led down to the mat. We're going to start preparing for Shavasana now. We made it to the end of the session. So if you want to just grab a blanket or anything to cover your feet, please feel free to do so. All you need to do for this moment is just lay your feet, hip distance apart, palms facing up to the ceiling and just fully relaxing into the mat. Find a really comfortable position. Down your eyes. Just 
start to fill. Just really relaxing into the mat. I'm gonna have Anna here just take us through a little bit of sound in this journey. So when you're laying down, I want you to envision a light. As the light comes through the crown of your head, it's making your body feel more and more relaxed. Just keep laying down, keeping those eyes closed. The light makes its way down through your body, relaxing those moments of tension that you needed to let go of. Every exhale, your breath sinks deeper into the mat. That light, making you feel light and glowing. sink deeper into the mat, letting go of any tension. Letting the vibrations ignite that light inside of you. safe, you are held. Feel your body fully light but supported by the ground. So 
slowly bringing your breath back into the forefront of your mind. Maybe start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Just coming back into the present moment. All together, we're just gonna slowly making our way to that seated position that we begun in. Keeping your eyes closed, bringing your hands to your chest. We're all just gonna take a moment to send love to someone that we can't see at the moment. Whatever you wanna to send to them, good vibes or just a hug, a virtual hug, whatever it is, send that out to the world. Think of who they are and send it out. And with that same love and compassion that you just sent out to someone else, I want you to send to yourself. Maybe just thank yourself for being so strong and positive through this time. Giving yourself that spiritual hug that you might need. Or maybe you can hear one thing that you're grateful for today. And then come back to the physical moment, gently just opening up your eyes. Thank you guys so, so much for practicing with me today. And Anna at the end, you came with a bit of singing for the Shavasana. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Hopefully get to see you guys again soon. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Well, if you guys <coughs> want to know more about um, yoga nidra or yoga practice or sound healing, just come to uh, Earth Annabelle and there's, we've got a link for Earth Sounds there. We do these yoga nidras um, with a bit of sound, which can really, really help with healing. I'm just so happy. Oh, thank you guys. I yeah, hope you thank feel great. You guys. Have thank a really, really lovely day. Honestly, it means the world that we can connect through this virtual telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste.